So here we try to implement uh, the heap abstract data type uh, using an array. And uh, to do that, we're going to be ordering uh, our elements in the tree, because this is a tree that we can visualize ourselves on paper. But in implementation, we're going to have to use a data structure. So in this case, we're using a, an array. And we're saying that we're going to be placing the elements according to a level order traversal. So this would be, these by the way are not the elements, these are the indexes of the array. So element 1 in the array will actually be this one. Whatever is in here will be contained in element 1 of the array. 2 will come here. 3 will be here. So if you notice, I'm actually just doing an in order a level order traversal sorry, of the tree. And I'm just placing all the elements in my array. So this is how I'm going to be representing it in code. This is the implementation. Um, also, for simplicity's sake, we've uh, uh, taken our indexes to start at 1 and finish at n. So that usually an array would start at 0 to, s to n minus 1. In this case, just for simplicity, we're going to be seeing why it goes from 1 to n. Also, another point worth mentioning is that uh, if you looked at element i, at index i, this element at index i in the array, um, its children will be placed at index 2i and 2i plus 1. So if you're looking at this element right here, and you want it to find its children within the array, then all you have to do is multiply this index by 2, which will give you 4. So you know this is the first child, child 1, of this parent. And multiply by 2 plus 1, 2i plus 1, and this one will be child 2. Also, if you wanted to get the parent, then you all you have to do is perform an integer division on the index. Uh, so divide 2 by 2, and you will get the parent. So this is actually the node parent, and these are the children. Similarly for 3, divide 3 by 2 as an integer division, so you discard the, the remainder, and you get 1. And multiply 3 by 2, you get 2i, which is 6. And multiply 3 by 2 plus 1, and you get 7. So these are the children. Now that we've established that, we could look at an implementation of the addition uh, the add method that we've seen up there. So we're just going to look at that. Um, well, we said first that we're just going to add our element to the very end of the tree, so at the very last level of the tree, and we're going to push it towards the left. So this equates to just adding our element at the end of the array. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a.size, so this is this very last index, 7 in this case, and we're going to add 1 to get 8, and we're going to we're going to take this as being our index, we're going to, where we're going to be adding our new element. So we're adding element to AI, and AI is just this. So basically whenever we add an element to the array, we're just going to tag it towards to the very end. And then, so this is our addition, and then don't, don't forget there was a, another part to the addition implementation. We said we're going to have to swap it with its parent if it happens to be uh, larger than the parent, sorry, uh, smaller than the parent. So we're going to perform this recursive swap that we call upheap. So we push it up if it happens to be um, smaller. It's only larger. Because remember, in a heap, we said that uh, uh, every node is, is uh, smaller than its children. And this we call the min heap. Uh, so if the children happen to be larger than uh, the, the parent, then we're going to have to swap it with the parent. So the upheap function, we're going to call this, and this is a recursive function, and all it does, you're going to pass it an index, and it's going to look at that index, the element at that index, and compare it to its parent. This is the parent. Remember we said i divided by 2 would give us the index of the parent? So we're comparing that element that we just added to the parent element. And if our element happens to be less than the parent element, then we're going to have to uh, move it upwards. Because the, 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 the parent has to be less than its children. This was our condition. Sorry if I uh, confused you earlier. The parent always has to be less than the children. This is the condition in a heap. So what you're going to do is you're going to swap these. You're going to have to implement this function. And then call up heap again, but this time on that parent. So the same node that we've moved up, we're going to call up heap uh, uh, over and over again until we reach a point where this happens to be uh, correctly placed, and then we stop. So this is the implementation of our um, heap using an array. And I gave you the example of the addition.